the mystery and the mystique of what is inside boxes, bags, and totes at storage auctions is one of the main reasons why people buy and bid on storage units. You never know what you might find. And today we are going back into my $100 storage pallet buy to see what treasures might await us. Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here for part two of my $100 storage pallet buy. If you have not seen the first video, be sure to check that out after you've watched this one. We found a tote full of some happy glass <laughs> uh, and some other interesting items, some clean items. This storage pallet is I think one of the cleanest storage pallets I have ever purchased. Definitely cleaner than many of the storage units that I have bought. And if you want to see some of those, I have a playlist of all my storage uh, auctions. So you can go check that out. But first, let's go back into these totes and see what treasures await us. Um, $100 and I have three totes left today to open. So let's dig in. First things first, we'll put on our gloves. So again, this, this unit is, is really clean. No food no trash which is nice but you never know what might be inside and it looks like we have oh i can't even lift it up it's so heavy uh, okay if i put it like this looks like we have a whole collection of dvds this was labeled as movies, living room slash den. And so far, all the labels that they've had on these totes have been correct. They haven't you know, tricked up with anything. Oh my gosh. Who remembers these? The first one says, best of Yolanda Adams. I, I know if I open this, they're gonna all fall out. So we'll have to take a look. Either they're, you know, burned, CDs or the real thing. Well, I wanted to up my um, movie collection. Ooh, something's wrapped in there. The shooter. A dirty game. Oh, national treasure. <laughs> now, are they in here? Can you imagine if these? They're in there. If they were all empty. You know, DVDs, they're I guess coming coming back in fashion, but at the flea market, you know, two for a buck. Oh, a PlayStation 2 game. I might have to do some research here. I have no idea. Oh, about PlayStation. This is Cart World series for PlayStation. Um, what is good and what is bad. But hey, I mean, games are usually decent, you know? And if I have, there's, I don't know if there's a hundred DVDs in here, but would I be able to sell all 100 for a hundred? That's, that might be asking too much here, Renee. <laughs> Let's see. If there's more games, that would be awesome. Sahara, The Departed. Sahara again. Breaking all the rules. What is this? Sealed one with Eddie Murphy. Um... Right, that's Eddie Murphy in Boomer Boomerang. Looks like we have a whole. Oh, there's more PlayStation games. Let's get to these. Guys. What is this? This is for PSP. It's a movie for PSP. That's not play. Is that PlayStation? PlayStation something or other. Madden 07. Oh, we got all these little 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 guys in here. There's a whole bunch. Blade Racer. Wipeout Pure. And Tiger Woods. I, I'm clueless, but we're gonna we're gonna be learning. Triple X Vin Diesel video. Dave Chappelle. I've never seen this type of Um, <clears throat> movie thing. 
play oh the league oh these are cds 50 cent monster in law with jane fonda sleepy hollow bad boys 2 we have a whole season it looks like of the west wing there's multiples oh he's in um that's uh what's his face <laughs> uh martin sheen he's in that other series with jane fonda uh frankie and i forget what else it is now this person served in the military and there was a whole binder full of dvds that looked to have been purchased while he was stationed over in iraq i know that i'm familiar with that because my cousin was also in iraq and he has a whole collection of those dvds and i think i borrowed the sopranos from him that he got over there and it's really funny because sometimes it's i mean they're, they're bootleg and you know you can see someone's recording off their tv someone's recording in a movie theater sometimes there's like two movies spliced into one there's talking so it's pretty funny he never was sure what he was gonna get but that's that's what they did over there tokyo drift the widescreen version hustle and flow now sometimes pawn shops actually give you a good amount of money a good amount of money like two bucks in blu-ray but that's better than what you would get at the flea market yeah these are all oh, that one's not Ooh, the dark knight with christian bale my favorite i love christian bale um, yeah these are all blu-rays interesting hmm. all right box one we have some dvds some blu-rays and some playstation games not bad this tote is marked as wall decor slash books and it is heavy all of these totes are pretty heavy so let's see whoops what we got in here which way to hold this <laughs> we have some uh coffee no that's no that's wine not coffee and vision the future belongs to those who have a vision of their dreams i'm dreaming of buying a storage unit one time that's filled with all ephemera that would be amazing looks like we have some wrap pieces probably just a typical print thing you might find at um I don't think Michael's, but this is nice. Now that they're playing the piano. Keyboard. Oh, there's a signature. Or it has to be a print. I'll have to get my loop out and look a little better. Oh, wow. So we have more of their gear. This is a really nice jacket found a pack of smokes in one of the other jackets <laughs> this does not have their name on it it's actually really nice oh boy so they were in operation iraqi freedom been there done that got my badge i'm gonna have to i'll have to see if my cousin wants this that was my cousin wasn't um Iraqi freedom. Now, I think a lot of people, when they watch storage unit videos, at least I know in my case, I think in other content creators, I don't know how they don't get these same type of comments, but um, we get a lot of, I don't want to say hate, but hate um, for buying storage units. And I think ultimately people kind of go to the worst case scenario of why the unit has gone up for auction. And sometimes it's just, that's not the case. I've been to an in-person auction where a woman had cleaned out several of her father's units because he had passed away. He had been storing stuff there for years. And there was a, I think it was a five by five wooden crate filled with stuff that she didn't want. Her family went through everything. They took what they wanted. And because her father had been such a great customer at this facility, the facility's like, oh, we can auction off 
you know, what you don't want. And they did, right there. The unit, the crate almost sold for about $900. You know, she said, we've gone through, we've taken out, he was a musician, I guess he had a lot of guitars, and they were driving back to whatever state they were from, and they couldn't fit it, they didn't want it. So there's a perfect example. Other times, if you think, you know, Aunt Millie collects antique dolls, and no one in the family cares about antique dolls, Aunt Millie passes away, her storage unit hasn't been paid on for several months. No one wants antique dolls. No one wants to pay the back rent. Let it go up for auction. So uh, those are just some scenarios in the storage auction world. This is cool. But um, my cousin was in Iraq, so I'll have to show him that um, for his time served in the, the military. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. It says Kuwait. These are the Kuwait towers. And from what I, what it looks like to me would be the Kuwait towers. And you know, they're a massive tourist attraction. I don't know if they bought these over there but I do know that um, you know sou souvenirs from your time in the service over um, in the war during that time, from what my cousin has told me, you know, it, they were very diligent about making sure you didn't get things back. Um, unlike in World War II where you know, our service men and women were bringing back all sorts of stuff. So again, I don't know if they purchased this when they were over there, I'm thinking probably, but wow, what a piece. Was not expecting that in, in, in there. Oh. I wonder this box is so heavy. Look how nice this is. So it's, you know, there's no label or mark on the back. I don't think it's rather old, but it's a really nice looking piece. For sure. Looks like we have more of their gear. Here we have more hats with the um, price tag or the you know the barcode on them. So they would go to the store on their base and purchase these. Or honestly, well, I doubt that they did that. But you could go to your Army Navy store and buy these types of items and um, other military stores online. We have some gloves, which I can actually use. all 91 2003 who knows where this has been and another great pair of gloves wow these are great for the winter time like it looks like the rest in this tote is just yep so they never wore this one either just another extra with a tag it's like a jacket oh these are trousers cold weather desert camouflage large regular one pair another hat with the tag It's never worn. It doesn't even fit my head. They must have had a, they must have had a small head. Maybe I'm not wearing it right. There we go. <laughs> and then it looks like we have another pair of pants in here. So this was a, a surprise as to what was in the tote. We have some nice artwork, and then we have um, the Kuwait Towers piece. So as I was putting stuff away, I just took a look on eBay, and it's, I found the Kuwait Towers. So vintage brass decorative Kuwait Tower souvenir, a wooden base, very cool. 
<laughs> so whether it was purchased over there, this says it was made in India, whether someone purchased it here in America and gave it to this military member when they came back, I don't know, but you know, it's not, um, it's not something that they you know, found in a, in a building that they were at. So it is a souvenir piece, but I think something that would mean something to someone that served overseas during that time. Alrighty, so last tote, and this one says CDs and books. So we're back in the, the CD section. Ooh, something's falling around in there. So let's see if I can show you. Is it too heavy? So yes, yeah, so it looks like we have more CDs. Ooh, prints. Well, it's old school party mix. Run DMC. Oh my gosh, now, that's what I call music. $37 at the CD warehouse? What? No, $6.99, clearance. Wow, Hit Me Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. Ooh, Millennium, Robbie Williams. Uh, U2, The Sweetest Thing, Spice Girls. The Alley Diet Plan. We have some homemade mix, mix CDs. <laughs> Gotta love those. Oh, it's Jay-Z. Kingdom Come. Now, I, I, I mean, am I going to have to scan all these CDs? I'm, I might, I don't know. I mean, CDs, there are people that sell only CDs, and sometimes a CD, you wouldn't believe it, could be worth something. Man, now that's why I call music. I'm keeping these for myself. Nelly Furtado, Ludacris, Shakira, Britney Spears is on there again, Aerosmith. Ooh, Incubus. What's this book? The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. Is that money? No. It's a deadline for a bowling tournament. Crunk Hits Volume 2 with the Best of Parliament. Oh, Marvin Gaye. Vegas Passport, Moon Music Inspired by the Lounge. Well, I don't think you want me to read every single CD that's in here, but that's that's what's in here. Huh. Well, this has been an interesting unit, palette. $100, I think, in terms of reselling items, um, you know, the CDs and the DVDs, they're going to take a little bit to sell. I will go through the DVDs and the Blu-rays and see if there's any that are worth, you know, 15 to $20 and are consistent sellers on eBay. I'm not going to list a DVD for five bucks. A lot of people do that. Some people have DVD stores on eBay and so they'll do, you know, like $7, $5 free shipping. It goes media mail, but they also have, you know, 8,000 DVDs. I, I, I don't operate that way. Um, so the time it would take for me to list a DVD, sell it for $6 plus free shipping, I would honestly just rather take it to the flea market and sell it for a buck or two bucks, two for a dollar, just to move it along, not have to store it, etc. I'll have to check out the PlayStation games. Again, I have no idea. Some games are good, some games are bad. It just depends. But not a bad unit. Clean unit. Everything was together, um, you know, wrapped it was all nicely packed, so that, that was a plus in this case. And, um, you know, another military unit. I've, I've come across a few of these, and again, like I said, I'm just glad that I'm the one that was able to purchase it and um, help to get these items back out so that they can be enjoyed versus to the dumpster, because I've seen the dumpster at this facility. That's where it all goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if people, those facilities that have their own people clean it out and or they have a person that they hire to clean out the unit, I'm sure that they go through stuff, but they're probably looking for the jewelry and the money, you know. Are they going to be interested in a bunch of DVDs and books, 
Probably not. That would go straight into the trash. Same, I think, with the clothes. Are they gonna shuffle through a whole big duffel bag of clothes? Probably not, straight into the trash. So at least this way others can enjoy it. But I have a, a bit of work cut out for me. <laughs> Gotta scan some uh, DVDs and movies, uh, see what CDs I wanna add to my collection, and then um, just move along to the next, hopefully the next storage unit, and see what other treasures we can find. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. This was just a, a good, a good unit, you know? No food, no mattresses. I did have furniture, but that was sold to, um, not sold, that was given uh, to someone else that day because I just, I just didn't want it. I can't sell it, I can't store it, let them enjoy it, you know, good karma to pass it along. So anyway, I hope you, so I hope you enjoyed this storage unit. Hopefully there'll be more in the future. I do love seeing what is inside these totes and boxes and bags. Thanks so much for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time for the next adventure here at Paper and Moose. Mm -hmm.